Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here at the beautiful Kandalim Beach in North Goa. I'm going to take you guys on a virtual tour of the streets of Kandalim. I'm going to take you guys on the beach. I'm going to show you guys the beach shacks, the water sports prices. I'm going to show you guys everything that's happening here right now. So let's go and check out the beautiful Kandalim Beach here in North Goa. Okay guys, so we are starting off our vlog over here from the streets of Kandalim. I'm just going to take you guys down the street just before we go to the beach. So you guys have an idea of who the crowd is here right now, what are the, you know, the shop situation and everything possible. So just to tell you guys, mostly right now there are international tourists. So if you see here on the right, all of these people are international tourists uh, as well as the left here. This is mostly international tourists. You have a lot of nice shops that are opened up here uh, in Kandolim. And if you see these big buses that are there, these are all like, you know, uh, these tour operators that take the international tourists around for like, you know, the North Goa tours. So just to show you guys like what is available here, we're just going to go a little slow and just show you the situation right now. So I know I did that video here in Kandalim very recently, but just to show you guys what peak season in Goa looks like right now. But uh, of course it is peak season, means this is the main Christmas week I'm shooting on right now. And unfortunately, there is not a lot of crowd. So if you see before, like if you came here in 2022, at this point of time, the street was so full that it took me almost like half an hour to like an hour to just, you know, go through traffic in this area. But right now, uh, there is way less tourists, surprisingly, this year. But if you see, uh, it's mostly international tourists on all sides of the road. And just showing you guys over here, uh, there's a lot of nice shops that are here. Like uh, there's United Colors of Benetton, there is Fab India. And you know, if you want to do some shopping, uh, there's also the Delfino supermarket here on the right. And yeah, let's just get through traffic here. And uh, yeah, this is Cafe Jazz in the evenings. These are right, very nice because they have live music in the evenings and yeah just to show you guys so this is what goa is like right now uh, it's very quiet and peaceful but it is absolutely beautiful uh, the weather is a little bit of humid as well as you know cold in the evenings so sometimes in the morning it's like really nice and cold but otherwise it is just perfect so this is a very popular restaurant the mango grove uh, it's always, you know, full of people and just to show you guys like other places that are here. So this is Annapurna, which is an uh, Indian restaurant here. Here we have the famous uh, Newton supermarket. They have like one of the biggest wine stores uh, here. So if you ever want to get like, you know, uh, to go to a wine store, just to show you guys the Christmas vibes here in Goa. As you can see, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, everybody is, you know, all nice and dressed up here. And yeah, so we are going down the Morodwado now. This is, the, of course, the main Kalang, uh, Kandalim Beach Road here. And just to show you guys, so there is a little bit more crowd here, but of course, uh, this is peak season. It should have been a lot, lot more. But hopefully at the beach, there's going to be more people. As you can see, there is more international tourists everywhere compared to uh, domestic means Indian tourists. Just to show you this side. And if you see here, the whole tourist situation. So it feels a lot like you're in a foreign destination right now. But yeah, let's just go down the beach road and show you guys like the whole, uh, you know, the situation here with all the shops and everything so it's just a nice pleasant weather today so there's a lot of nice shops that have opened up here so of course i'm just showing you guys all sides of this street before we go so just to show you the restaurant is pretty empty it's around 10 40 in the morning so this is uh, azura here on the left which is a very nice restaurant if you want continental food and yeah guys so just to show you guys here the crowd situation 
so what we are going to do is i'm going to park here and then of course we're going to go down to the beach and show you guys so let me just park first okay so i just parked my bike and this is tiama here this is a bar and restaurant here good morning so yeah so these are like all, a lot of international tourists here uh people are having beer early morning it's oh it's 10 30 it's not 10 40 also people are having beer like early in the morning you know uh for me it's quite surprising because uh i'm not somebody who usually drinks in the daytime so whenever i see people drinking i mean i drink in the afternoon when i go to the beach but early morning it's very surprising so here we have the parking area so this is the parking area here and surprising there's very less cars as well and so i'm actually shooting on a weekend so this is the tourist information center and in the tourist information center you can get all the information that you need from here so what we'll do is let me just go up there because and show you from there because of this noise that is there here right now okay guys so we came a little further on the grass cutter was there making a lot of noise so here we have the welcome to kandolim uh, sign and of course you have no parking you get a fine if you bring your vehicle over here so just to show you guys this is the entrance and it's so nice because they're playing christmas songs here now and you know it gives you a very christmasy vibe uh, while you enter in the beach road so just to show you guys here you have all the shops selling clothes and you know different kinds of things but let's just take a walk onto the beach uh, and show you guys the situation with the shacks and everything so just to show you guys if you want to uh, you know buy coconut kile get that coconut ache wow so the coconuts are 50 rupees if you want to get a nice coconut water here uh, it's 50 rupees and wow guys so the shacks are back so good morning so this is like if you want to do the water sports ride so the parachute and all of them hello hello <laughs> good morning so that's the prices good morning good morning <laughs> good morning <laughs> so yeah these are the guys at the beach here this is the cloudine shack here so cloudine cloudina shack is always a very pretty shack they have this uh, you know uh, rickshaw here which makes it look nice and this is jackson shack which is another very nice shack that is here so you see this is goa guys happy vibes always but of course there is very less people right now but hopefully we'll get some people on the beach just to show you guys this is the water sports prices here if you want to get water sports and we'll just walk on the beach and show you guys the whole situation so just to show you guys these are the beach beds that are here and let's just take a little walk onto the beach we'll go to the water sports counters and everything and show you guys so wow so this is the beach right now guys so uh, there are beach beds and beach shacks good morning okay sir so just to show you guys there are beach shacks like the whole beach down and like the whole beach till sinkerim that is the uh, side towards sinkerim and this is the side going towards uh, kalangut side guys so what we'll do is we'll go towards this side because you know the what uh, sun is facing the side so we'll get a better uh, shot of the beach but of course i'm going to take you guys and show you guys the shacks that have been built up also now so just to show you guys hello hello <laughs> so this is the you know uh, water sports that is available here as you can see there is very less crowd right now good morning so yeah everybody is saying hi over here so just to show you guys over here there is a lot of uh, you know the water sports activities available here you see these are the speed boats that are coming up here there's jet ski everything available but the tourist uh, so the sorry uh, you know they keep on asking me if i want to do water sports uh, they are all the new boys that are there now but let's go and check out the shacks that are here right now so i have never seen 
Kandalim beach uh, with so less people during December. But, you know, it is what it is. So this is Boat Shack here, which is a uh, nice shack here. There is Lorenzo Shack here. Uh, Lorenzo's looks nice. I'm just going to take off my slippers and walk. So, you know, I can show you guys better. So, just to tell you guys about the beach beds. The beach beds, they charge you 100 rupees per hour. And uh, if you're eating and drinking at the shacks, then of course it is free. That is Lorenzo's. There is Sugar Shack over here, which is there. And uh, the shacks over here are mostly with international tourists. The further we go down the beach, you'll see more and more international tourists. So that is Sugar Shack, that is Alexis Shack here. I know many of our international viewers are watching this. And you know, hi, hi, how are you guys? Where are you from? Yeah, good, good, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hi, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a photograph? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, that will yeah. work. Okay, so these are our viewers from which country? England. England, oh wow. You yes. want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, so you want to get a photo? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's get a photo. So, so, so we're, we're from England, from the UK, um, been coming to Goa for a number of years now. Still love the place intensely. We've been watching the Moses videos for, uh, again, several years now. Um, very informative videos, everything you need to know about coming to Goa. They're all there on the Moses videos. Everybody should watch them. What, what's the places that you enjoy the most? When, when we come out here, we love coming to the beach. Our days consist of, we get up, we come to the beach, we love coming to the shack. Great food, great company, great people to talk to, fantastic weather. We stay here all day, lovely lunch, leave, leave the beach at tea time, sunset, and then out some more great food, and then repeat the next day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, tell us your name as well. My name's Shelley. Yeah. Uh, what do you like about Goa? Why do you keep coming back? I love the people, I love the weather, I just love the atmosphere of it. I just love India. Where have you been besides Goa in India? Uh, we've been to Mumbai, Jaipur, Agra, Delhi, Chennai, but only the airport. So. <laughs> <laughs> you spent uh, most of your time in Goa though? Spent most of our time in Goa. Okay. Um, I say about eight years ago we traveled and did the golden triangle um but no we only have four weeks we can take so it's literally a fly and flop holiday okay <laughs> uh, so today we are in alex's shack here so they said that the place is pretty nice and they treat you well here so we're going to recommend alex's shack right we'd recommend alex's shack to anybody we would Al Al alex's shack the people in there are good the shack boys are good <laughs> Alex is a great host and the food is second to none. It's the sort of shack where people talk about Alex's predominantly for the food because it's so good. It is, and the prices are very reasonable too. Perfect. Okay, so they got me a nice orange juice as well. So thank you to both of you. You're very, very welcome, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they bought me a nice orange juice here. So yeah, guys, we'll go further and show you guys some more. Okay guys, so we are going further on now and it was lovely to meet you guys. Andy, yeah, take care guys, have a good day. Enjoy. Bye 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 bye. So yeah, hi guys, how are you? So we have more viewers of ours. Where are you guys from? Uh, England. England. Oh wow, beautiful. So I'll just go up ahead and I'll come back and say hi in a bit. Yeah. Bye guys. So yeah guys, so we have so many of our viewers from different different countries here. Uh, mostly, hi, 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 how are you? So, yeah, it's so lovely. I had a lovely chat. We've been talking for almost, I think, an hour. Yeah, so we were talking for an hour and we had an amazing chat. And just to show you guys the crowd now, so the crowd has increased quite a lot. This area here has quite a lot of people right now. This is Bono, Bono Shack here. So if you see, it's mostly international tourists that are here and Bono Shack and of course it's it's a beautiful day so just to show you guys that Bono Shack here and it has like a beautiful area inside as well so yeah so what we'll do is we'll just walk a little ahead because of course I know so many of you know a lot of these shacks and have memories here so you can feel like you're walking on the beach with me as well 
and just to show you guys, of course, we'll go back there and I'll show you guys the crowd situation when we go back there. But yeah, just to give you guys a feel of, you know, what it's like here right now. And so this is the drop-in shack here. We'll just go right up till there so I can give you guys a close-up idea of what's happening right now. And, you know, you can see the shacks from a little bit of a close-up perspective. So, yeah, so this one over here is called Bayview, I guess. And it's like these cabanas and they have like this coconut thing, which is quite pretty. And, yeah, so it's 11.30 now after our little chat with them. And, yeah, so this is the other shack that is here, which is called Bayview. So what we'll do is now let's go back to the entrance and let me show you guys from there. Okay guys, so we made it back to the other area here, which is the main area. And I'm just going to show you guys the crowd now. As you can see, there's quite a lot of people that have entered into the beach. And uh, you know, there's more people going in for water sports and everything. You have the water sports counters here. And then there's the water sports that is available there. And of course, these are like the different things hi 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 how are you good morning yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. from where dogapur from from near kolkata kolkata wow wow so wow so amazing so these are yeah of your youtube channel wow wow amazing so do you like the videos absolutely it's excellent lot of informative uh, your we are yeah. moving accordingly your information really wow <laughs> Amazing. So, pleasure meeting you guys. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying yes, your time. Where is your wristwatch? Your oh, wristwatches are very... Different. Very, very, very yeah. So, I, I have, so, he's asking about my watches. So, just to show you guys, this is the colored one today. Yeah. So, lovely meeting you guys. Yeah. Take care. Bye. 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 Hi. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hi. More viewers. Yeah. Wait. Say hi. Okay. Hi. 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 Wow. Hello. Hi. Where are you guys from? Uh, Delhi, huh? We are all from Bangalore. Oh, Bangalore. Yeah. Okay, okay. We just came. We just saw your video and just came here. Okay, wow. And we, we are not expecting you here. Okay, yeah. yeah. Lovely to see you guys. I hope you all are having a good time. Yeah. Take care. Bye, 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 bye. So yeah, guys, just uh, saying hi to all our viewers here. We clicked a couple of photos, and let me just show you guys the little close-up of the water sports, just to give you guys an idea of what it is inside. These are the speed boats, basically, that take you all the way there in the distance the water is so nice and cold the water is literally ice cold guys and not ice cold but it's very nice and cold and yeah so they take you for the parasailing over there from here and it's just such a beautiful day right now and as you can see there's more and more people coming into the beach but of course this is not the typical crowd that you usually see uh, here in uh, December so december usually there is a lot more crowd here but of course hopefully january will have more crowd so just to show you guys there are more people going in here and enjoying their time at the beach so uh, this is how they take you they make you wear these nice life vests here and <laughs> look at the dogs even the dogs is going in there so yeah guys this is the beautiful Kandalim beach area here and of course we'll just go up over there and show you a few more of the shacks okay guys so we made it to the other side here just to show you the last few shacks that are here so we have sea rock here you have a spotty shack over here this one looks nice and if you see here spotty shack they have all of these nice uh, designs this is like the carnival theme kind of hi hi how are you so you're the owner Okay, so that's Spotty's the owner here. If you ever come, come and say hi to him. Yeah, <laughs> bye bye. You too. So lovely gentleman. And yeah, so you know it's very nice to see some friendly faces sometimes. So they have other shacks here. Uh, there's Bobby's shack, and of course we'll just walk around, give you guys a feel that you're walking in the water, you know, beach with me, and. There is Bobby's and of course there's Claudine's, which is right at the entrance. So just to show you guys like what the crowd is here. These mostly have uh, 
domestic tourists. Of course, there's a lot of international tourists that come in Kandalim, but right now there's a few of the domestic tourists that are here right now. But yeah, let's just walk back on the beach and show you guys the beach back bedside and just show you like the crowd right now that has increased quite a bit so we'll go back to the entrance and show you the last scenes from here in Kandalim before I end this vlog so here of course we have the Claudina shack and of course there's Jackson shack here which is at the entrance of the beach so just to give you guys an idea of what the area is like i'm just making a little brighter there yeah guys so this was the kandalim beach okay guys so just before we end the vlog i just came back to the street here just to show you guys there is this beautiful crib here which was made for christmas so these are made by the locals of this area here so this is just like this really nice crib that they've made hello hi <laughs> so yeah guys uh, just showing you guys some last scenes from the parking lot so this is the bike parking lot which you can come to here and as you can see more people are coming down to the beach now okay. so just to give you guys a little bit more information from here so over here there are other options of things that you can do like there have party boards if you want to book your goa that's dudsagar waterfall trip and everything that's available here as well which you can just go to the tourist information center here and they will give you all the options here also they have fly boarding uh, here as well as of course that's the dudsagar thing so bungee jumping is also available so these are like other options of things that you can do uh, while you are here in uh, Kandalim you can get it booked and you can go to all these places so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe and of course I'm going to bring you guys lots of other videos from here in Goa